welcome to your bar workout today. You are just going to need a set of light weights. If you don't have light weights, you can use water bottles, cans of soup, or you can just use your own body weight with intention. So today we're going to do a full body workout um, and then some nice stretching at the end to focus on releasing tight muscles. All right, so let's get started. Big deep inhale through the nose and press all that air out, palms active down towards the hips exhale inhale bend the knees and exhale press down through the palms good last one here inhale pressing it down good job from here sinking it back into a small squat so our feet are hip distance apart you're gonna pulse pulse and lift it up so take those arms to heart center and then press them back pulse pulse press it back weight is even in both feet pulse pulse and press good work as you get warmer you can sink deeper into your squats good for five four three two and one, now we're gonna add a knee raise. Lift, left knee, pulse, pulse, right knee. Pulse, pulse, and left. Pushing through that standing leg, adding on an element of balance here. One side may feel more balanced than the other. And lift, good, pulse, pulse, and lift. And lift it up, good job. Nice lifted chest. Use your breath here. Two more sets. Last set. Last side. Good, sink it low, hold. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up, good job. Take those feet a little bit wider now, externally rotate the toes to 10 and two on a clock, taking those arms out to the side and lower down, stretch it over to the right center and lift, staying on the right down, right center, lift, stretch those obliques, good, warming up those abs for five, last four, three, two, and one, switching sides, lift, lower, left side, stretch, pressing evenly through the feet, and lift, down, over, up, and lift, good, over, lift, last five, and four, three, Two, and one, good, through the center, and lift it up, good work. We're gonna grab our weights now. So I have two pound weights today. These are a little bit lighter than I usually use. You can use anywhere from two to five pounds or your body weight. So the weights are gonna come out in front of you nice, soft and in the elbows. My feet are externally rotated. I'm gonna step out, open the chest, bring it in. So left leg, out. Bring it in, dropping the shoulders down the back. Good, plie out to the side, actively squeeze that inner thigh. Out, and squeeze it in. Squeeze, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one now hold it low left side hold it down now rotate those palms up overhead release lift it up down weights go overhead release lift palms are up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're working out outside down lift and lift good work down overhead out lift overhead 
and lift two more down overhead out lift last one down overhead out and lift sink it low hold it low take those arms back behind you overhead tricep press here for eight seven six grow taller five four three two and one lower those hands come on in shake those legs out good work from here coming back into that narrow squat position with the feet about hip distance apart we're gonna bicep curl down and tricep press lift that leg left leg so it's down press weights come forward weights come behind you elbow stays stable or staying on that same leg down lift press through that right foot lift long triceps down and lift and lift good work last three two and one switching sides so down right leg lift long triceps down press through that left foot now nice and tall and lift and lift good work lift four three two and one hold it low hold palms towards the sky or the ceiling so your knuckles are facing the ground tricep press good press shoulders down the back collarbone wide press and press eight seven six five four three two and one stand it up good job shake it out we're going to take our series to the right so first position heels click together nice and tall arms out in front of you step it out wide and back to center open close open and close good job down Woo. let that heart rate come up if you have tension in your neck you just lower the arms down or ditch the weights completely open close it in use your breath here out pull it in five four three two one find that second position hold flip the palms overhead out lift down overhead out lift good job down grow taller here pressing through the outside edges of the feet nice rounded elbows biceps are on shoulders pressing down out of the ears even as you lift those arms up overhead lower lift three two and one good lift it up find that second position hold arms behind that head tricep press eight seven six five four you can do it three two and one lower the hands lift it up good work taking your left leg now out into a lunge position so you're going to angle that knee as if you're going to be in a warrior two position so your left foot is parallel to the front edge of your mat and your back arch of your foot so that right arch of your foot is in line with the left heel and hinging it over so lengthening here out of the top line of your body you're just going to hold that left hand at your hip you're going to take that right arm down and back tricep overhead tricep overhead good hold those abs in you're working that stabilizing leg that left leg pressing that knee so that it's in line with your ankle press good out tricep overhead 
tricep, good. Four, three, two, and one. Hold the overhead, hold. Take that opposite arm out, down to the knee, lift it up, meet the right hand, down, and lift, down, and lift, good job. And lift, pressing through that left foot. That left leg's getting tired. Good work for four, three, two, and one. Good job, stand it up, shake out that left leg. Let's sink into a figure four, stretch that glute out a little bit there. It's really working overtime. All right, coming to your next side. So right leg, right foot is parallel to the front of your mat taking that left arch of your foot in line with your right heel, reaching from that midsection, taking your right hand to your hip, take that left arm overhead and tri press, tricep press, overhead, press it back, overhead. So we're not collapsing here, still lifting out of those right obliques. Your abs are working hard here, press back. And here, if you need to ditch your weights completely, that is totally fine. You'll still get a great workout. Good job. For three, two, and one. Reach overhead, taking that right arm down, and a lift, meet the left arm. And a lift, now you've lost that support here, so you're really using those abs. Good. For five, for four, three, two, and one. Lower, Whew. back through the center. Good work. All right, from here, we're gonna take it down to your mat. So lowering onto an all fours position here. You're gonna take one weight in your right arm and we're gonna reach the right arm long and the left leg long. So all fours, we've got wrists, under shoulders, knees under hips, nice neutral spine. Take that right arm, left leg, and pull it together. And press it long. And pull it together, good. Good work. Working on that whole body core connection here. Bringing that arm in towards that knee and taking it long. Bring it in and take it long, good job and out, and out, last two, last one, good job. Now, bending that elbow and bending that knee or that leg, you're gonna take the elbow now in towards the knee and press everything back up. So bent leg, bent arm, down, press it up, down, press it up. And press. And press. Good job. Keeping that core strong. Don't get into your low back. Two more. And last one. And drop that weight. Sink it back. Release the wrist. You're going to come back into an all fours position taking that same leg that was long, so our left leg, and just lifting from the glute. So lift and lower, lifting and lowering, pressing out of your hands evenly. Now you're gonna lift, add a tap out to the left, in and down, lift, out, in, down, lift, out, in and down, you got it, lift, out, in and down. Lift to the left, in and down, good work. Lift, out, in and down, one more. Lift, out, in, lower down now, lift it up. Little circles with that leg. Little circles reaching through the toes, nice and long. Good job. For five, four, three, two, one, reverse it. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, lower it down. 
Good job. Now, taking that weight into your left hand now, taking that right leg back nice and long, starting where we started on the other side. So reaching long here, doesn't have to be high. You don't wanna get into your low back. So take it long, pull it in, press it long, find somewhere to stare at, right below about six inches in front of your eyes. So you're not craning your neck down here or hyperextending it. Good. Rest it long, pull it in. Rest it long, good job. Pull it in. Four. Three. Two. And last one, pull it in. Press it long, good. Bend the arm, bend the leg. Bring the elbow to knee and back out, nice and slow. Elbow to knee and lift, good. Elbow to knee and lift it up. Woo. And lift, good. Elbow to knee and lift. Two more. And last one. And lower down, stretching it back. Release the tension out of that right wrist. Roll that hand back towards you to stretch it. And we're gonna come back up onto all fours. Now taking that right leg long. So press through all 10 fingers evenly. That left knee's right under your left hip. Lower and lift that leg just so you feel the glute engage. Doesn't have to be any higher than that. Lift, lower, lift, and lower, good. Now add that tap out to the right, lift, out, in, and down. Out, squeeze it in towards the midline, and down. Lift, out, in, and lower, lift, out, in, and down, good job. Lift, out, in, and down, two more. Out, in, and down, last one. Out, in, Lower, lift that left leg long, reach with those toes, little circles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, reverse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Coming onto your left side now, Ooh, I have sweat dripping into my eyes. Coming onto your left side, we're gonna take it into a modified side plank with one of your weights. So, taking that left leg underneath you, take that weight in that right hand if you have one, lifting it up, pressing out of that left shin as your kickstand, you're gonna take that right hand overhead and pull in, pulse, pulse, press it long. Now, if you need to tap the mat, you can tap it with that top leg. So, crunch, crunch, and press. So, we're actually not crunching our spine. You're just using your obliques here. In, in, press it long. Exhale. Inhale long. And long, good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Reach it long and lower it down. Dropping all the way down on the mat. You're gonna take your right arm in front of you and we're just gonna press up. So we're gonna wrap our left arm by our side and we're gonna press up with our tricep and lower it down. I've got my knees stacked. Press up and lower down nice and slow. So you'll feel your chest and your tricep here. I've got my left arm wrapped around my midsection and lower and lift. And lower, two more. Lift, and lower, last one. And lift, and lower, good job. Coming onto your belly now for a plank before we move to the other side. So taking it into a full plank, if you can here. If not, you're just gonna stay on the tops of your knees. And we're gonna come into some shoulder taps. So wide base of support with the feet, if you're on your feet, Tap the right shoulder with 
or the left shoulder with the right hand and vice versa. Tap, tap, minimizing the hips shifting off to the side. Tap, tap, good. Pressing through the hands evenly. Good work, 10 more seconds. Seven, last five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Good job, and switching sides for that plank, side plank with the oblique pull in. So taking your right leg underneath you, your right arm, your elbow is right underneath your shoulder. I'm gonna press through that right shin, lift it up, press the hips forward, taking that left arm overhead, pull in and reach it long. Crunch and reach. So pulse, pulse and reach. Pulse, pulse and reach it long. Pulse, pulse and reach. Last one here, pulse, pulse, and reach it long. Lowering down, release that weight. Taking your right arm, wrapping it around your torso, taking that left palm in front of you. Just lay down. Now pressing up and slowly lowering. So just using the back of the arm here and the chest lift and lower down with control. So you wanna lower with as much control as you lift. So you don't just want to fall down. Good. Three more. Three. Oh, this is hard. Lower down. Two. Oh. And the last one. Lift. And lower down. Releasing. Good job. All right. From here, come on up and we're going to come back into a plank. So coming into your plank, nice high plank again. We're just working our way around with all these planks. Taking those feet back, you're gonna take your left knee towards your left, left elbow and back. Right knee towards the right elbow and back. Left and right and left and right. Good. Using your breath here. Oblique. Actually, all your abs. And in, and right. One more set. Left, and right. Good, and drop those knees, pressing it back. Good job. Ooh, working out the sweat. Come on, roll it up. We're gonna come into some tricep work. So some reverse tabletop tricep work. So taking your palms, they're facing forward or slightly externally rotated here. You're gonna tuck the tail, keeping your feet hip distance apart. Coming up here, lifting the hips. Now you're gonna take your left leg into tabletop, keeping your hips level, so don't let one hip dip off to the side. Hips level, engage those abs, tricep dip and lift, dip and lift, opening through the collarbone. So the bottom, this isn't dipping towards the ground, you're using the backs of your arms. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it straight. Extend the leg. Lower the leg out and lift it up. Out. Extend it up. Stretch that hamstring. And lift. Last three, two, and one. And lower it down. Reset. We have the other side to go. Release the wrists. Good. You're always stronger than you think you are. You can do this. So, palms pressing into your mat. A little bit externally rotated if that feels better for you. Tuck the tail to start. Lift it up. Use those glutes. Right leg to tabletop. Open through the collarbone. Dip and lift. Seven and lift. Six. Five. Four, three, two, hold high on one. Hold it up, straighten that leg. Out, exhale, lift towards the sky. Out, level hips, lift. Good, keep those abs engaged. The left glute is holding you up for four, 
three, two, and one. Lower it down and slowly release. Ooh, good job. All right, let's roll it back for some final ab work before we stretch it out. So rolling back here, taking a moment. Let's grab your weight. So one weight in each hand. And we're gonna take our weights towards the sky. Really just take a moment to let those shoulder blades sink into your mat here and imprint that spine. So feel a little bit of flattening onto your mat, really engage the front of your abdominal wall, taking those legs into tabletop. You're gonna take opposite arm, opposite leg, reach and pull, other side, out. Exhale, pull, out and pull it in, good. Out and pull it up and out and exhale, pull. Being mindful that your imprint stays the same. So you're not allowing your rib cage to pop open at all here. You're keeping that abdominal connection, keeping your ribs feeling like they're drawing close to your hip bone and pull it in. Exhale, inhale to reach, exhale to pull together and reach and pull. Two more sets. Good. Good, and last side. And bring it in. Now, taking left leg and right arm. So reach behind you, now take it out to the side and bring it in. The left arm is still overhead, right leg is still in tabletop. Out, and bring it to the midline. So you're challenging your core by taking your limbs away from the midline. Out, my abs are shaking, pull it in. Three, two, one, and draw it in. Good job. Other side. So left arm, right leg, and out, and pull it towards the midline. So inhale out, exhale, pull, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Good. Four, three. Two, and one, and bring those knees in. Good job. From here, we're gonna rock it back up to seated, so grab behind those thighs, and we're gonna come to all fours and start stretching it out. In an all fours position, just taking a moment again, we're gonna exhale round the spine. Just exhale all that air out, and inhale, Back to the center, find some extension here. Good, let that belly relax, stretch those abs out, and then exhale. Rounding that spine one vertebrae at a time, tucking that tail towards your nose, and back through neutral. Holding here, you're gonna take your left leg forward on the outside of your left hand here, and we're just going to take a rotation away from that front leg. So you're gonna open to the right, opening through the torso. You're pressing slightly with that left arm into that left knee. And rotate it back down. And again, rotate open. Good, opening through the chest, opening through the shoulders. And close it back down. Now I also have my right foot tucked, my right, right toes tucked. I'm gonna press it back here so I'm active through that right leg. Now see if you can straighten that left leg slightly and get a nice stretch through that left hamstring. And then back down, nice and active through that right leg. And press. And back down, good. So really working on that hamstring stretch. It tends to get really tight from all the sitting that we do sitting and driving, sitting and working, good. And even in our workouts, I'm gonna lower that right knee back down and take that left leg back out from underneath you. And you're gonna take your right leg now to the side of your right hand. So pressing into your right leg with your right arm, we're gonna open towards the left. Good, twisting through that torso. Keeping that knee over that ankle 
and then back to the center. One more time, open, take a deep breath here, and close. Good, tucking that left toe underneath you, stretch that left leg long, nice active through that left leg. Feel the glute contract here, and then press, straighten as much as you can through that right leg. This is my tighter side. Can you tell? And then back through the center. Nice active left leg long and press it back. Good. Feeling that stretch all down the back of that right leg. And then back through the center. Drop that left knee all the way down. Taking that right knee down. We're going to do some hip articulation. So Staying in that all fours position, lifting that right leg up off the mat slightly. You're gonna take it out to the side, rotate it back behind you like you're gonna stamp your foot on the ceiling and lower it down to right behind that left knee. So out to the side, stamp that foot on the ceiling and lower it down. Now reverse it. So up, stamp, out to the side and lower it down up stamp rotate that knee out to the side and lower it down other leg so lifting that left leg out to the side rotate that knee down stamp the sky and drop it back down now fire hydrant out to the side stamp the sky and lower back down and reverse it lift stamp the sky Take that knee out, fan it to the side, lower it down, and a lift, stamp, open that leg without moving the torso, and lower it down, good job. Now, threading your left arm towards your right knee, opening through the back of that shoulder blade, good. So don't contort your neck in any weird position here. You just wanna feel that mat pull, on your left shoulder blade, keeping your hips as square as you can here. Big deep inhale and exhale. Good, and on your next breath, push yourself up, unthread the needle, taking that right hand down towards your left knee, right shoulder reaching for the mat. Feel that mat, pull that shoulder, this should feel really good. Opening up from behind the shoulder blade. Nice deep breath here. And exhale. Good, pressing it up. Good, coming onto the shins, opening through that chest here. So taking your palms right to your low back or right above your bum, open through the chest, Glide the shoulder blades down the back, roll the shoulders out of the ears, pressing the hips forward slightly, but tucking the tailbone so that you're protecting your low back. Your glutes are actually on here. Press the hips forward, open through the chest. Good. And release. I'm gonna take one foot down and then another, taking a nice wide stance here, opening through the inner thighs, you can rock back and forth, reaching your tailbone for the mat, even though it's not gonna make it there. Maybe yours will, mine definitely won't. And just rocking to release some of that inner thigh tension here. And then you're gonna plant your hands onto the mat, lower the heels, hang over the thighs. Take a nice deep breath here and slowly roll it up, hanging from the upper body letting the upper body relax and stacking the spine head is last roll those shoulders out of the ears good work you just completed your full body bar workout with a little bit of extra emphasis on stretching today just to release some of those tight muscles uh, that tighten during our daily activities but we can also tighten during our workout so i hope you've enjoyed this workout and you'll join us again soon have a great day